Hi everyone and welcome back to the Botanical Witch. Today I am doing a different type of video and I am going to be showing you what's inside my Book of Shadows. I've had several people contact me um, and ask me what is in your Book of Shadows and if I would mind doing a quick flip through. So I love watching other people's flip throughs of their grimoires or their book of shadows, book of mirrors, that sort of thing. And I thought I would go ahead and try this. So as you can see, um, I don't have a tripod for my camera. So I do apologize for any camera movements. And this book of shadows is definitely a work in progress. It is not complete 100% at all. I would say it's only about 30, maybe 40% complete. Um, my Book of Shadows is a tad different from others that I've seen. I am an extremely visual person, so I wanted to put not only my creative flair on this, but I wanted something that when I opened it up, it inspired me and it made my heart sing. So I made mine into a kind of a scrapbook slash junk journal type of book of shadows. So as you can see, um, it's very fat. I've done a lot of work in this and I've put some charms on the side and some really pretty lace just to give it, you know, more of a magical flair. But since it is so fat, I am not able to close it. Um, so normally I do have a ribbon tied around this just to keep it nice and tidy. So let's get into the actual Book of Shadows. And this is my cover page. And this is a very, very poorly written um, cover page. This was when I first began and I'm not sure I really like it, um, but I'm gonna keep it for a little while until I figure out what I can do to make it better. And then I've got my book blessing, the Oath of a Green Witch. I am on the Green Witch path. I'm an eclectic green witch, so I wanted to add something in there um, that represents the green world. And this is just a little envelope. I haven't decided what I wanted to put in it yet. This is a poem that I really liked, um, To Be a Witch poem. And then I went into the moon phases, just very briefly. And then I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. Um, I did add some pictures and, you know, tarot cards and stuff like that that really speak to me. These are the old vintage witch pictures that I had printed out. Um, my Book of Shadows does have a lot of secret pockets and envelopes, that sort of thing. So I'm just tucking these in here. And then also you'll find that my Book of Shadows, it's kind of a mix of my own spells that I've written, that I've created, and then things that I have found from um, other websites that I thought was pretty helpful so you'll see also printed out things as well and then I just pasted some really pretty ephemera on it um, this is kind of a secret pocket where I can put stuff in cleansing charging um, my charging spell there's a little pocket here for stuff. Cleansing ritual. And then just a blank journal page. Um, you'll see throughout my book that I have just blank pages. And that's because this is not complete yet. So I do want to leave, you know, open room for other things. And then a little pocket. And this is, I made this kind of into a journal card. Same with this, I can write on the back of this. Then I've got my moon water. And as you can see, I have glued some tabs up here with a little charm. Makes it easier to flip the pages. Um, and then some artwork by Annie the Green Witch. 
full moon rituals. And then here's one of my envelopes for a spell jar for home protection. And then at the top, it's kind of a secret pocket just to put things in. Morning Witchcraft, Peace and Harmony spell. And then throughout this book, you'll find that I added a lot of poetry. Um, there's a lot of poetry that really speaks to me. So I wanted to add it in here. And then I made a little, kind of a little pocket out of um, an envelope that I received. So there's a pocket here and then there's a space here that I can put stuff. My sleep bag spell and then I kind of just glued dried rose petal petals on it just to give it that extra special feel. There's another little envelope. I have not glued that in yet. And then I ended up getting a magazine about haunted places um, around the world. And I thought this was just a really cool thing to add um, to my Book of Shadows. So I haven't decided if I want to cover it up with something um, or just leave it blank. And then this is an area where I wanted to put down blank pages that I can journal in for anything. I like to put down my experiences, my journey with witchcraft, that sort of thing. And this one I started with my tea recipes. I have not finished this as you can see. And then a house blessing. And then we go into my color correspondences. And I made this little flip book with paper in it. And it has a bunch of things in here like candle magic, money spells, tea spells, black salt, dressing candles, that sort of thing. Let me try to get that back with one hand. Like I said, I apologize for the camera moving so much. I'm having to hold this with one hand. And then I used a coffee filter here to use for a little pocket. And here is another journal card that I made with a couple other cards with spells on them. And then this page, I'm not sure what I really want to do with it yet, but there's a bunch of journal cards. It's kind of like, this is a band right here that holds all the cards down. But here's another journal card. And I left this one blank. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put you know, on this yet, but it's actually uh, dyed paper. It's stained paper that I used, um, hibiscus tea. And funny enough, it turned kind of a blue-gray color, which I thought was really pretty. And then I just put a watercolored um, art that I created. It's definitely not the best, but um, I thought it was really pretty, so I wanted to put it in there. And then again, some more blank journal pages. Here's another little envelope pocket that I made for another journal card. Casting a circle, um, how to make herbal honey. And once again, I've got several blank journal pages. Moon dust, solar cycles, and then we get into the elements. And this is the next couple pages. I actually printed off information about um, the elements. I thought it was really pretty. And I just put some writing around this just to make it a little more magical. Oops. 
and then I created a page for each element and each page has a spell for each element and then some information a flip down card about each element and then the water information is right there and then calling of the elements I did some information about witches bells my fire my personal fire cider recipe and my elderberry syrup recipe and then I made this really cool flip down thing uh, from an envelope and it has you know little cards in here spaces to write and little areas to write and you can just fold it up I like to leave it like this though grounding a grounding potion and then I have some hidden stuff back here that I don't really show other people um, in this book. This is a little spell book that I made and there's some personal spells in there that I don't really share so we will move on from there. I put a little bit of lace on this and then my happy energy jar spell, my raspberry thyme vinegar, so as you can see, I mean, my Book of Shadows is not a typical Book of Shadows. It's, it's more just a whole, everything I in life love and just throw it in one book. But that's how I roll. So, and then I made a separate little book. That is hard to do with one hand. And it has little journal pages and whatnot. And, So I just tuck that inside this envelope. And again, I have blank journal pages to write on. My protection jar spell. And then just a little envelope that I created to stick stuff in. It has like the correspondences for crystals. And then it has, I made another little, out of scrapbook paper, it's just a little book that I can record things in, Florida water recipe, and then some more art by Annie the Green Witch. I just love her stuff, so I wanted to add some of it to my book. And then I made a little pocket. I printed out some pictures of my roses, um, how to do flower essence, and I just stuck it in this pocket. Information about essential oils for clarity and focus. So I got this out of a magazine and wanted to put it in. My moon milk recipe. And then underneath it just has, you know, spooky things. And then I wanted to start a bestiary. I thought it was really interesting to learn about all the myth mythical and magical creatures. And so I did find this online and I printed these out. Um, I kind of just made it look old style, like it was burnt. So, and what I think I'm going to do is find a really beautiful image of each mythical creature and put it here. But it goes on about dragons and elves, um, you know, fairies and gnomes, that kind of thing. And then here is my Wheel of the Year. I did these with um, watercolors. And then each one has its own page. And I kind of, when I did it, I did it out of order for a reason. Um, in my mind, the way I'm thinking, I started with the very first sabbat that made sense to me chronologically so it's not going to be you know you know in bulk is not necessarily the first sabbat but it's the first one chrono chronologically for me so each one um, has information about it and then i went on and i added um, a spell that i usually do on each one and then a recipe for each one so as you'll see 
here's the information about it and then the spell and then the actual recipe I haven't been able um, to finish all of them yet like Beltane I haven't done that one yet Mavon. And then this page is blank. I don't know what I'm going to put on this yet. Then I wanted to add Witch's Ruins, um, a little bit of history of what are they, and then I have a flip down, and then I just kind of watercolored this. My cleansing and protective floor sweep. This is kind of just a pocket. I can take it out and put other things in it. I haven't figured out what else I want to put in there yet. And then another journaling area with a little ephemera card and a little pocket on the side. Then I decided to glue this on. I added a little charm. Here's another space for journal cards. Um, this, is, this one's actually kind of neat. I decided to add some dried rose petals and calendula on the inside of this with some glitter and it's just kind of like a shaker, shaker bag. So I thought that was really pretty and I'll actually put that on later. It's hard to do with one hand. Blank paper and then here's some more journaling areas and I printed this off and made a journal card for it. There's a little bookmark, and then this flips up to make a little journal card, kind of a secret journal card. And then I did a watercolor image of, I don't even know what this was, but I thought it was really pretty colors, and I decided to put all of the moon names for each month on here with some blank journal cards as well. I may just put some rituals on there that I've tried and love. And then I decided to do a little, I guess, wheel of my love for nature. So I just added everything that I love about nature onto this. And then I went in and started doing my sun sign, my moon sign, and my rising sign and I did this with watercolors. It's not extremely detailed. Um, I just put the stuff that down here that I thought was relevant for me, and it just gives you a little bit about what your sun sign means, the moon, and the rising. This one's kind of fun. Um, it's a really beautiful poem that I love about witches flying by, so I decided to kind of cut this out and put a piece of page protector here with an image of a witch flying by, kind of like a window. And then I glued, you know, all this on to make it look like a window with curtains. So I thought that was really pretty. Just something fun to add. And then we get into, this is, I haven't put this in yet. It's supposed to be inside the tarot area. But this is going to be tricks and tips. Um, and some of my readings that I've done for myself. But I'm really into tarot and oracle, um, so I wanted to add some things into my Book of Shadows that makes it a little bit easier for me to understand which each card is because I am far from, you know, an expert when it comes to tarot. So I printed off some of, um, on Etsy actually, some basically meanings of the major arcana and you know all of the minor ar arcana as well. Then I glued on some rose petals and I made this into kind of a flip book so it didn't take up so much room. So if you look we've got all of the major arcana and some tarot stickers that I found to go with each one. Let me open this up a little bit. So it's kind of just a, an accordion style entry so that it doesn't take up you know, too many pages. 
And then we get into the minor arcana, and I started with wands. And this little envelope here is all of the tarot stickers. It's kind of a mini tarot deck. And then of course it goes into all of the wands and what they kind of mean. So I haven't finished that. I still have to do all the others. Um, so that's why these are blank. And then the last thing I have in here that is not finished is my witch's herbs. Since I'm a green witch, I use a lot of herbs in many, many, many different aspects of my life. So I wanted to add herbs in here and what their magical meanings were. And I just glued down some blackberry leaf and some anise seed. And again, this is kind of like the tarot area where I made it kind of an accordion style so it wouldn't take up so much space. There's a picture of some of my herbs that I wanted to add in here somewhere, but I printed these off of Etsy as well and just ripped them out and made it look kind of old. So here's the flip. So again, this is all I have on that. So basically that is my book of shadows. It's very unorganized. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I don't even have an index of where to find things. Um, I didn't want it to be so, you know, uniform that it was boring to me because I just like things. I just add things as I go. So this is my book of shadows. And like I said, it is a work in progress. I still have a lot of things to add and more than likely I'm going to end up needing another book um, because there's just so many things to learn in my practice and you know book of shadows add what you want there is no right or wrong thing to add or not to add do it however you want. If you want it to look like a scrapbook like this, then do it like a scrapbook. If you like the uniformed look where kind of like a bullet journal and you have to write everything down, it has to be in order, then do that. But don't be afraid to work in your book of shadows. Um, your book of shadows is basically an extension of you. So don't be afraid to work in it. Don't be afraid of it looking messy because this, this to me is a little bit messy, but it works for me and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment below. And until next time, I hope you all have a magical day.